A total solar eclipse sure does give new meaning to the term Lone Star State. Welcome to Episode 2! The eclipse itself enters Texas after crossing the Rio Grande River at the towns of Eagle Pass and Radar Base, meaning that at 1.29 p.m., for the first time in 124 years, totality will be visible over the state of Texas. And it's here that the true magnitude of this event really becomes apparent. Radar Base and Eagle Pass are two cities that have a collective population of about 29,000 people. But, even with travel being limited right up against the U.S.-Mexican border, it's expected that these two towns will see more than 5,000 visitors on April 8th. However, this pales in comparison to other places in the state, to the point where even smaller cities are slated for an almost incomprehensible influx of visitors. Here's a prime example. At 1.32 p.m., totality reaches Kerrville, Texas, home of the Kerrville Eclipse Festival, and with a population on a normal day of 25,000 people. But Kerrville is only an hour from San Antonio. And importantly, San Antonio is just outside the path of totality. On April 8th, it's completely reasonable that Kerrville could see almost 500,000 people visiting in just one day. This region of Texas is also interesting, as the part of central Texas that stretches from Brackettville in the south to Fredericksburg in the north will be experiencing their second solar eclipse in just six months, since, on October 14th, 2023, the annular eclipse that occurred also passed directly over west-central Texas. On that day in October, these small towns saw up to five minutes of annularity. On this occasion in April, they'll see almost four and a half minutes of totality. After April's total eclipse path intersects October's annular eclipse path, the total eclipse continues towards the northeast and begins its journey through what's arguably the most densely populated portion of the entire path of totality anywhere in North America. At 1.35 p.m., Austin, population 965,000, yet only the fourth largest city within the path of totality, plunges into darkness for 2 minutes and 16 seconds. 100 miles to the northeast, and 110 seconds later, Waco, just 18 miles off the center line, goes dark for 4 minutes and 11 seconds. The shadow of the moon then races northeast at almost 1,700 miles an hour. At 1.40 p.m., 8 million people see the sky go dark as totality reaches the Dallas-Fort Worth metro area, where, for the next 5 minutes, day turns into night. Eight of the top 25 largest cities along the entire eclipse path will experience totality in just these 300 seconds. At almost the same time, 80 miles to the east and just within the eclipse path, the town of Tyler goes dark for just shy of two minutes. At 1.44 p.m., the eclipse reaches the town of Mount Pleasant, where totality lasts for three minutes and 51 seconds, before continuing on at 1.46 p.m. to Texarkana, lingering there for two minutes and 28 seconds. From here, just 21 minutes after crossing the Rio Grande, the shadow of the moon gradually leaves the state of Texas, not to return until August of 2045. They say everything is bigger in Texas, and this eclipse will prove no different. Taken as a whole, if there's any state to watch the eclipse from on April 8th, Texas would likely be it. Not only does it have the lowest chance of clouds anywhere along the path of totality in the U.S., averaging around 50%, but it also has the longest duration of totality anywhere in America, upwards of 4 minutes and 26 seconds. In addition to these facts that will undoubtedly draw people from around the globe, 10 of the 25 largest cities within the eclipse path are all located in the state, and 13 million Texans live inside the path of totality. That's not even counting the projected three quarters of a million people who will travel to and throughout Texas to see the eclipse, nor the countless scientists and researchers who will flock to the Texas Hill Country for clear skies. After leaving Texas, the eclipse continues on through central Arkansas and southeastern Oklahoma, two places where we're headed next. 